This recording is about doing revisions and comments uh, within a Nisus Writer document. But first you may ask, well, why do you care about using track changes or comments? Uh, I've decided early on for my writing style, I leave comments for myself so I can go back to a document and explore some things that I was thinking about or follow up on questions that I might have had. Uh, this can also be very useful and is more commonly used in a team environment where you're collaborating with someone and, and a team may be you and one other person or maybe five other people. But at any rate, it's more than one person working on the document. And you're sharing this document, getting feedback from other people and comments and revisions and so forth. But you'd like to see what they've changed and at least have the option to accept or reject them. So this can be handled with multiple users and it can even be uh, done across multiple applications. Uh, and by multiple applications, I mean that applications like Microsoft Word, LibreOffice, and Pages all support track changes and comments. And if you have friends or collaborators that are using these applications, you can interchange those fairly readily uh, between Nicest Writer and, say, MS Word or Pages. So with that, let's go ahead and take a look at how we would um, actually activate some of these tools. And as I pointed out, we can tr activate track changes with this track changes toolbar item that looks like an evolving man and simply click on that item and the track changes panel will open up on the right hand side. Now you can also reach this through the tools menu and just go to tools, track changes and track changes that will toggle the uh, track changes panel on and off. So to look at making a change and tracking that, I want to find a string in a heading or a header. And what I want to do is open find. I want to look for addressing to stay. I want to ignore the case. I want it to be attribute sensitive. And the reason I want it to do that because I know it's in a heading. And if I say it's attribute sensitive, I can look for that heading style. and do a find. And it finds that string that I'm looking for. So actually what I'm trying to find is not so much this string, but I know the one I really want to go after is immediately before it or very near it. In this case, I'm looking at this sentence. Staying warm is coupled to safety and they can be addressed together. Now this may be a, a little bit too dense, a little bit too complex and, and maybe straying off the main point. So what I would like to do is make a revision. And remember, I have track changes turned on. And my revision is that I would like to take the second part of the sentence, or the second phrase, and delete it. So I can delete that. And you see that the deleted string is noted in the tracked changes column. And there's a revert and a check mark button on that note. Uh, if I re click revert, it will put the string back just like it was in the original uh, format. If I click the check mark, which I'm not going to do right now, it will accept that change and mark it done. Another change I'm going to propose is to italicize this string, what's left of the sentence, saying staying warm is coupled to safety, to bring it more emphasis. And you can see as I do that, the formatting is changed to italics. The note here is set that it was changed to italics and it's also got the revert and accept buttons on it. So let's take a look at comments now. And the way I turn on comments is click this comments button in the toolbar and you'll see the comments pane opens up. And again, there's a way to get to this from the menus and you go to tools, comments, show comments pane. So one of the things I want to do is add a comment and I'm going to comment about this sentence in particular. So I'll highlight that sentence again. I'm going to add a comment by clicking the plus button at the bottom of the screen or bottom of the comment panel. And you'll see that it puts my name there and that name is taken from the name, the username in the preferences of, the, of Nicest Writer. And I'm going to note for other reviewers that this sentence needs to be simplified.
And now I, you can see I've put a comment in, I have put a couple of checked changes in, and now I would like to share this with someone else so that they can add their comments. And in this case, I'm going to send this over to LibreOffice. So I would like to save the file. I'm going to close this, save it. So the next thing I want to do is open up the same RTF file in LibreOffice. And once this is opened up in LibreOffice, now I probably need to shrink the page size just a little bit, make it fit on my window. And if I scroll down, you can see that the changes I made in Nicest Writer are also reflected in LibreOffice. In this case, I'm going to make a few more changes. And I'm going to the last section. And I would like to note that this is a little complex. This could also be simplified. So I want to add a note. This can also be simplified. I want to add an S after references and delete sites. Uh, I want to highlight all these re reference sites. I want to add a note and say, are all of these really needed? Question mark. So I've got two notes and a couple of text changes. I'm going to close this which will require me to save it. I'm going to use this rich text format. So that was its source. Now when I open this same file in Nicest Writer, just back to a scale we can read, you can see that a, a character style was added by LibreOffice, which I, I really don't need, I don't care about. I'm going to delete that. As you scroll down, you can see these were the original comments that I put in. There were no additional comments made. As I scroll further down, I can see that this other reviewer added some things. They deleted sites. They added this S for ref references. They've asked if all these are really needed. And you'll note that the LibreOffice user's comments were highlighted in blue, distinctly different from the yellow that was the default when I made changes. As you have more reviewers, other colors will be used, but all reviewers are, are reflected in different color sets, so you can tell who's been doing what. The unknown author here in this case is because in LibreOffice I didn't set a username, so it's just being flagged as unknown. Now how do I go about changing these? Yes, I could look, look at this comment and say, Good point. I'm going to keep them all. I'm going to just delete the note. I'm not going to planning to send this back to the original reviewer. I do like the changes they made on weather references, so I'm going to accept both of these. And you can see those are now accepted. I've got no comments up here, so I have the option to say, okay, I want to keep that and maybe delete this note. And now I've accepted all the changes that I wanted to accept. I've deleted all the notes. And the track changes column is cleared. And the comments column is cleared now. And that gives you a quick look at how to use track changes and comments and making revisions and working in teams. One other thing to note, the portability of documents across various word processors is not 100% fidelity. Uh, in nearly every case for the major word processors, RTF is, is perfectly fine. Uh, pages is the standout, and I'm talking about Pages version 5. It does not handle RTF files at all. If you're going to be working with someone that uses Pages, I recommend using DocX or Doc, which are both word format files. And Nicest Writer can export to those formats as can pages. And pages will open that up and convert it automatically to a pages document. The reviewer that you're working with would have to export that back as a Word document. LibreOffice uses the open document text format or ODT format. So you'll see that it has the ability to, to manage those files and open those files. And Nicest Writer does too. It does a pretty decent job. Pages, however, does not, nor does Microsoft Word. So most of the time, you're fine using RTF 
all of the time, you're fine using a Word uh, format, either docx or doc. So those are just some characteristics to be aware of if you're working with other people using various word processors. Uh, not all word processors open all file types, uh, but if you're using RTF or DOCX or DOC, generally speaking, you'll be in good shape. If you would like to learn some more about using uh, these tools, you know, track changes and uh, comments, the Nicest Writer Pro Help <clears throat> is available. I highly recommend looking at that. You can reach it by going to Help and opening Nicest Writer Pro Help. Go to Polishing and Managing Documents, and you can find Track Changes under Tracking Changes to your documents. And you can see there are several sections here. You can, how to start tracking changes, view and review track changes, accept and reject changes that have been made, uh, which I've touched on briefly, but this goes into considerably more detail. And then there's a section using comments in your documents, and it's fairly lengthy as well. Uh, there's add comments, remove comments, you know, copy and paste commented text. There's a lot of detail that you can, you can get fairly involved in, in managing comments and using them to a great extent in polishing up your documents, especially in a collaboration environment. So highly recommend looking at the user's guide, and I hope this helps you get much more out of Nicest Writer than you thought you could have, especially working in a team environment.